Question one. You mentioned that younger generations of Palestinians are pushing harder to state their rights of self-determination against oppression as they become aware of the realities around them. To what extent do you find their beliefs informed by outside influences or primarily by societal cues and understandings? Or do you think it might be a blend of both? I think it's a blend of both. I think that the Palestinians have mobilized throughout their history mm -hmm. uh, in, in seeking self-determination back to the Great Revolt in 1936. 1939, all the way through to the Intifadas up until now. But I do think that the Palestinians, especially the younger population now, living under occupation in the region, have been influenced by the Arab revolutions in 2011. They've mobilized, gone to the streets, seeking a better quality of life. And Palestinians in the diaspora, whether in the US or the UK, have also heard that uh, call and have thought about ways to mobilize with other progressive movements. Uh, and so I do think that it's a mixture of both. Question number two, to the uninformed bystander, what is constructive understanding that the average Westerner or non-student of international relations should have in internalizing the complexity of this Israeli-Palestinian conflict? I think the most important thing that any outsider should realize is that we're not dealing with two parties to a conflict. I think this idea that there are two parties to the conflict that can sit around the table and negotiate their way out of the conflict is a misrepresentation of reality on the ground. Reality on the ground is one where there are two actors. One is the occupier, and a, a state that is vastly more powerful and developed diplomatically and militarily than the occupied, which are stateless people living under military rule. And therefore, any form of equality or any attempt to position these two sides of the conflict as equal or standing opposite each other is a fundamental misrepresentation. And question three, how do you think that your research can inform the policy debate and the delicate balance in the region? I think in my research, I've tried to put forward the voice of an organization in its own, on its own terms that is often misrepresented, uh, whether inadvertently or otherwise, uh, in order to complicate a certain reality. And what I've tried to do is to put forward an analytical framing for us to understand one of the key actors in this conflict. And you know, with greater knowledge, hopefully comes greater power. So that might help other scholars or activists, diplomats certainly, to become more productive actors in, in the question of Palestine. Thank you for your time.